Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. Now, a couple of days ago, Google officially announced Android 10. It was in the beta version for a couple of months, but now finally we have the stable version of Android 10 out there. Now, generally what happens is Android 10 is first available for all the Pixel devices out there and from there on other manufacturers push out their updates for their respective phones. That's the thing every year. But this year, surprisingly enough, Xiaomi pushed an update for Redmi K20 Pro, that is the Android 10 update for Redmi K20 Pro, on the same day as Google launched Android 10, which is awesome. We've seen this in the past by companies like OnePlus, but this is the first time for Xiaomi and I'm really excited because Redmi K20 Pro is their flagship device and they're clearly shifting gears here. They are trying to give you a better software experience by providing regular software updates and providing software updates fast is very good because guys like us need to have the latest software version every single time and that's exactly what Xiaomi is offering and I'm really excited for it. So as soon as I heard that Android 10 is available for Redmi K20 Pro, I had to install it on my phone and that's exactly what I did. Now huge shout out to Mr. Dhananjay Bosle because I followed his video to install Android 10 on Redmi K20 Pro and if you want to watch that video, it will be linked in the i button over here and also in the description box below. But anyway, today let's talk about Android 10 on Redmi K20 Pro and what is new, what is not changed and all those things. Now first up, this is MIUI based on Android 10. So it is not stock Android, it is MIUI 10 based on Android 10. So yeah, it's still MIUI 10, it's not MIUI 11. That means you don't get any major changes. There are minor changes which are the Android system changes, but as far as MIUI things go, they have not changed in particular. Those changes will be seen in MIUI 11. So with that out of the way, let's talk about some of the major changes in the Android system itself. So first major change that I found out was global dark mode. So we all know that dark mode was available already for the Redmi K20 Pro, but now there's an option of global dark mode. So what global dark mode does is it enables dark mode on third party apps as well. So there are a number of apps which support global dark mode. So Imagine this, you press one button and all the things go into dark mode. So global dark mode is that and it works really well. So apps like Zoho Inventory, which I use on a daily basis in my family business, that supports global dark mode and it went dark all of a sudden and I was like, whoa, this is awesome. So I'm hoping that apps like Instagram should support global dark mode in the future. So you can go into settings, press that button and everything is in dark mode. Apart from that, there is also a digital well-being tab right in the settings now, which was very well awaited. So digital well-being is a part where you can see what apps that you've used and for how much time you've used them so that if you want to cut down on your usage or if you want to track how much time you've been spending on your phone, you can do that and you can, you know, maybe improve your habits or all those things. So digital well-being is a welcome addition. It was already available on stock Android, but it's good to see that it's built right into the settings app of MIUI 10 with Android 10. Apart from that, there are a number of changes in the settings menu. So settings menu have been pushed around here and there, but now it's more easier to navigate and find the perfect setting that you were looking for. So all these changes are welcomed and I'm pretty sure that you'll get used to them in just a day or two. So those were some of the changes in Android 10. As I mentioned, there are not major changes, but it's good to use the latest version of Android because I like that and I'm pretty sure that there are some guys like me out there who like to use the latest software version, no matter if there are changes or no, because it gives you kind of like bragging rights. You can tell everyone that you have the latest Android version and it feels good to have the latest software. Now, if you want to do this to your Redmi K20 Pro, then it's pretty simple. You need to have an unlocked bootloader and TWRP recovery installed. That is only for now, like there will be an OTA update coming to all Redmi K20 Pro devices, but that will come like after a month or so. If you want to install it today itself, then you need to have an unlocked bootloader and TWRP recovery installed. 
If you have both of these, then you just need to download the ROM file and flash it and you'll be good to go. Apart from that, if you want to know how to unlock your bootloader and install TWRP recovery, do not worry. I'll drop a link to a very good article in the description box below. Just follow it and you'll be good to go. So overall, it's very good to see that Xiaomi is shifting gears and focusing more on software updates because it's very important to have good software experience when you buy a phone that is a flagship phone. So I'm really glad to see that Xiaomi is doing this and a thumbs up to the whole team. So anyway, that's been it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that it helped you out in some way or the other. And if it did, then please let me know about that in the comment section down below. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe below because it would mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one.